Everybody, welcome back to Terra Femcraft, Season 5, Episode 158 with me, Sid. And last episode, we hooked up our applied energistic system to the um, forge. Need to do some work in here at some point. Uh, also need to finish off smelting all of this lot, uh, I think. That should have more or less finished there. I'm not even bothering with the little bits. It's really not worth the effort. There's some nickel. That can all go into our storage system. World will be good and happy. Um, but we've also got a whole bunch of casserite to smelt and a whole bunch of mithril to smelt and store. Uh, like I say, we're going to need to do something back here to make this less awkward. <clears throat> and uh, we also managed to hook up to here which is now sorted um need a few bits and pieces this is going to be our living area but i need to have a break from applied logistics because uh i want to hook up in here uh yeah thank you mrs cow and i would like to also hook up in here although this is slightly less important now what I would like to do also is grab a spare vessel and uh, I think that is everything. <clears throat> so as you recall, we, we on the information given to us in the comments, we managed to get these three guys, Curly, Larry and Mo, sifting automatically and producing us all sorts of goodies. What we couldn't find is where I'd put the granite. And that is because I had a failure on the backups where I lost the maps. The granite is around about here. Around about well, there-ish. So... I want to head out today from our home, which is wherever we are, hang on, from here. And I would like to head off up, out here, up this way, going all the way up. And we'll get over to here and then we're going to come over and explore back over this way. Find the granite <clears throat> and dig ourselves a whole load of granite gravel. I mean, a metric crap ton of granite gravel. Um, I've got almost uh well let's have a look what we have got we have got over here this crate which has got some empty ceramic vessels in it two barrels full of ceramic vessels and these are all empty ceramic vessels that's a fresh water barrel from food this one has got a bit of crap in it actually so we might as well put that away uh actually i think that was um for node capturing but i'm not too, going to worry too much about those and that is empty and we also have this barrel here which is full of ceramic vessels so we can kind of bring that over there um so that's like a metric crap ton of ceramic vessels that's a whole load of ceramic vessels i could quite literally fill this with these full of ceramic vessels and bring back absolute bucket loads um you know what I, I don't genuinely see the point there is some stuff in here which we can get rid of boop, boop, boop. that's another ceramic vessel so that's another three things uh, and that one's empty apparently let me just double check that one then it was standing out for some reason. Nope, they're all empty. Um, and of course, Trunky has not really got anything else about his personage. I'll stick that in there. I'll give you plenty of stuff to go in at. So we've got fairly low food, actually. I think we should fix that before we go anywhere. Um... So the easiest thing would be to just completely restock our food vessels. How we do? Oh, well, and also going to restock our ice. Actually, I need three and a bit. Three. I'll just get three stacks of ice. I could have chopped some up, but <clears throat> yeah. 
left that a bit light doesn't matter we have got one two three we've got quite a bit of ice and i think we'll get more opportunities to get a little bit more it's also going to come become a moot point soon um which is another reason why i want to go on a road trip because i want to have a little chat this this is obviously episode 158 we're we're, we're ticking along quite happily here and uh yeah, we, we really could do with, like, oh, God, oh, this is not going to blend nicely, is it? Well, if I do a stack, can I stack various bits and pieces that I've got? I can. And then we can jump into the dairy. We'll throw that little bit in there. That little bit of cabbage can go in there, along with that carrot. That bit of grain can go in there. The fruit can go in there. And... Where uh, the meat can meet the meat. Right, so now we need to start thinking we're going to need protein. So let me strip these. So basically, this is my usual routine strip the decay, stack, pop back the half bit, and then that becomes two portions. And I'm going to repeat for all of the other stuff. There's some cheese. We'll take that. We'll split it, and everybody's happy. And uh, yeah, let me just sort out our food, and then we're going to go on a road trip and have a little chat. I'll see you in a moment. All right, we well, it's a lovely morning. Uh, we need to head that way, and uh, we'll start off with a leap of faith because what better way to sail off so we've got a fair old distance to travel um that is without a doubt and we we are probably going to end up with uh, some performance issues because when you explore in terra firma craft especially in, uh, now and i don't know why or what's changed that has significantly altered the way this game handles but um something has changed uh, and consequently, this handles like a. I can explore for a certain amount of time and then it just gets unmanageable. Um, so, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and head up to the area where the granite was. And uh, I've got my boat. And uh, let's just have a quick peek at where we're heading. We are going to head basically kind of that way uh, for a while I'll uh, I'll not rattle while we're boating because the rubber banding that you sometimes get when you're doing this and the, the various other problems can be a bit nauseating so we'll, we'll chat when we get to where we're going and uh, let's go and find some granite now if you're wondering why granite in addition to getting all of the surface quartz from sifting it we get the um, Yellorium, uh, uh, I'm trying to think what it's called now. Uh, is it bitumen? I can't remember what it's called. The, 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 the uranium, basically. That's what we're after. And uh, because we're going to need some of that um, to make a reactor. So I will see you when I get there. All right. We are not at the granite. Um, we are here. Now we've been here, and this is Firelight. Um, and we've actually been here we've seen this terrain before it's um whether i did it on camera or not i really don't know but um yeah this is firelight nothing to get excited about there is uh, an obsidian thingy altar there but doesn't seem to be active so we should be good to just trundle along i, I really do want to keep my hang glider on my hat bar though because i have a habit of jumping into ravines and uh this makes life a lot easier uh, I'm not going to worry about the shards this time around because again um, part of the conversation we have to talk about is where where this series is going um, so we are too far up I think we need to be heading kind of that way but then I think we're probably going to need to jump back in the boat and I'm going to just very carefully just have a look over the edge there because you know inquiry minds want to know what is down every hole um 
yeah what well, so the question has been asked in the comments uh, oh I've definitely been here before you can tell you've been somewhere when you find the things you threw away and it hasn't despawned because you didn't the, the area hasn't been loaded in an age that's that's kind of a clue that you've been somewhere and it's no longer on the map um yeah the question has been asked in the comments what what am i going to do next um and the answer is i actually haven't got a clue um i've been starting to think about it um because we are getting close to uh, a natural ending point for this season you know we've We've built the AE system. Now, I don't want to just end on the point of building the AE system uh, in the same way as I don't want to just end on the point of building a nuclear reactor. Because if the end point of this is getting the good stuff, where was the point in getting the good stuff? You know, it's it's a pet bugbear of mine with a lot of mod packs. Um, Especially quest-based mod packs. You know, they'll sit there and the end quest, the last quest ever is make the sword that, you know, is just absolutely ludicrous. And, you know, can kill everything in one go and whatever. I mean, I think that personally I hate that kind of sword. Uh, I think it ruins the game. But that's true of every, you know, it's like it might not be a sword. It might be make this thing which will you know quadruple your or I mean take mechanism you know it is possible I believe I think you can take it all the way up to or granite there we go <laughs> and a granite beach granite gravel beach let's just have a look yeah it is possible to get up to a point where you have you know in the region of the ability to quadruple not not just double quadruple your ore um quadruple no quintuple i think you can go five times if you really want to yeah you can start you can feel the lag starting to creep in this is from the i get this this just happens all the time uh, oh hello sorry i'm just curious about what's in the area while we're while we're here I mean, this is all granite, so in fact, I think I found where I went digging. Oh, yes, we have. Right. Interesting question, because I started to do the rest of this a different way, didn't I? Maybe we should do this this way. Yeah. At the point, you've actually got to the point where you can quintuple... Well, oh, pardon me, your ore, you probably don't need to quintuple your ore. You know, it's it, it is kind of a a given that at that point you have got probably most of the iron or any other ore you're ever going to need. That looked like a good spot to work on. So, so yeah, that's kind of the, oh, this is a very dangerous looking place, isn't it? Okay. So from a, from a, from a point of view of, of playing the game and ending the game and finishing the game, there is a, a conundrum here, uh, a, a, a difficulty, if you will, if you like. I'm going to use this just to, uh, I'll pop those down there and get rid of them. I don't want the sand. Am I in danger of getting more than sand though if I do this? I don't know. Um, hmm, what do I need? Oh, I can't believe I've left. No, 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 Trunky, come, come back here, you naughty little trunk. All right, um, just in the interest of expedience, uh, I'm going to set home granite. Oh, okay. Set home 
uh, home help. Question mark home. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm going to have to work out. Oh, maybe I can't do that. Oh, that's a bugger. All right, we are. I, I don't know. I would not normally do this. Um, I am, however, going to set a thing here called granite. You want to also spell it correctly. And we're going to save. And we are going to home home. As I say, this is just in the ex simple expedience of making up for my idiocy. And I'm sure you were all screaming at the monitor. Ah! Um, telling me that I've done that. But obviously, you know, I'm well ahead of myself in recording. So. We are gonna we're gonna just cheat this little bit, and you, I won't tell anybody if if you don't tell anybody. Uh, right, I need to find granite. Can we sort it by name, and then I should be able to find granite, shouldn't I? Uh, gr nope. Gold, gold, granite, teleport. Right, nothing to see here. Move along. Um, what we are going to do is, in fact, I am going to, I'm going to play this a little bit smarter, hopefully, and I'm going to turn these uh, into granite blocks and then make myself a little granite block platform. Um, to, to kind of base myself off of. Kind of makes sense to me. And we can take you and put you out of the way. Uh, not that, that. Ah. Come here. Ta Lag. Spikes are us. So yeah, big question. What am I going to do next? Now, one thing I had thought of, and that was obviously I haven't tested these out. This is just me playing around with some ideas. Is I am very eager to try out the the one twelve version of Terra Firmacraft in in a little bit more anger than the last time. Uh, I think that's fair fair way of describing it. Oh, I need to on the uh, excavator. So, what that would entail from a point of view of of you know the play is is basically playing the 1.2 version. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, I know I'm stating the obvious here, but that kind of goes hand in hand. So we'll take one of you out. We'll pop you there. That will unseal. Grab one of those, and uh, oh, we'll pop you on there. Perfect. Right. Other options. I don't know. I haven't really kept up. Whether I mean there is, as I say, there is a 1.12 version of this pack. I don't know whether there are any other versions of Terra Firma Craft. Um, that I'm not aware of in 112. Now, people have said, have you tried Terra Firma Punk? And, you know, if you go back to the start of this season and the last season, you'll see that I, I had indeed tried Terra Firma Punk and uh, it, it didn't agree with me. I think that's a fair way of describing it. Um... So I'm not entirely sure where to go, but it will be Terra Firma Craft Base, I think, for this season and series. Now that kind of brings us to another question, which is um, uh, Heavens of Sorcery is coming close to its natural closing point. And the reason for that is currently, I believe there are still quest book chapters outstanding. I don't think, for example, the quests to unlock Thorncraft or Blood Magic are are there. I may be wrong on that, and that may change, but you know that it's going to be 
a a fact that like all of like all the things the things come to an end so i need to start thinking about that and uh, one of the things i'm thinking about i'm playing around with the idea is another server based um, pack or server based experience um, close server invite only to play it'll be the usual people people can apply for invites obviously um, but I'm going to kind of couple it up with a discord server so we can actually do a bit more collaborative work if at all possible I, I'm not a good one for collaboratives um, it's kind of a little awkward sometimes because a my, yeah, my working life is such that time is uh, time is of an essence if you like and uh, it can be awkward finding a time when we can all play now there's there are other concerns I have with collaborative stuff and recording together and one of those is ooh, hello uh, let me let me just get a bit of oh you need to go there right that's better good uh, one of those is actually the age of the people I'm recording with believe it or not because realistically you know I am I'm an old fart <laughs> playing Minecraft and I certainly do understand that there are people out there who would struggle to understand why I at the age I am play video games and Minecraft in particular and uh, would also be for want of a better word a little bit wary of um, of someone my age playing a game like this you know and with the best one in the world you know I've, I've had people when I've streamed come in and oh, cast aspersions this is probably a better is as good a word as any um, you know and and I've like, like, like I've openly said you know it's not like I hide who or, or what my age is or anything along those lines uh, I'm quite open about it and uh, you know if I were if my motives were in any way dubious then surely I would not be open about it does that make sense you know you would I would try to make out I was in fact say younger than I am or you know whatever hipper than I am or I don't even know I mean hip isn't even a phrase these days I'm sure that just goes to show how un unhip people are so yeah this um it can be an awkward one if you're not careful and yeah I uh, my personal belief here is that if you're sensible about these things you just don't give people the chance to actually even accuse you of something um, that way it's not an issue but anyway enough about that I need to so I need to a come up with what I want to do pack wise and I need to be continue gathering large quantities of granite so or granite gravel actually if I'm going to be specific um, so we can fill these things get our little helpers to work and get an absolute metric crap ton of pitch blend which I've just remembered what the name of the stuff we're getting is so I'm going to run this one through if anybody has any pack suggestions or ideas do please let me know in the comments um, you know I try to keep abreast of things that are going on but like everything you know sometimes real life is uh, takes precedent over my gaming choices so I don't always have a chance to keep up with things well, I'm going to carry on doing this I shall be back in a little while all right this is some time on uh, and we, we've done quite a lot of gravel <laughs> all the way around here multiple layers down I, I did a little quick trench just to get the last couple of things we're, we're a couple of stacks shy of a full quota but to be honest I'm getting a bit bored of digging gravel um, so we are going to home home and uh, 
Seems to be warming up. <laughs> Wasn't up there, it was definitely on the uh, chilly side. What's the thing? It's late winter, February 10th, my birthday. <laughs> I don't know, that seems to crop up more times than you would think possible in uh, uh, to play playthroughs of Terra Firma Craft. You would expect this to be a relatively rare occurrence, but nope, it, it crops up so often it's actually not even funny um actually it's not funny anyway but you know what i mean anyway that's only half of the problem of course we now have to process all of these gravel um now remember this stuff when sifted will give us as well as the Certus, which is one of the things we want, and Quartz, because Quartz is always nice as well. Um, it's got a chance of Gold. Um, it's got a chance of Mithril. It's got a chance of Silver, which is nice, because Silver's actually quite a rare resource. Cassarite and Galana, not so worried. Cryolite. And here's the one, Pitch Blend, 5% drop chance. Uh, what does Cryolite do? Oh, Redstone. Oh, that's even better. Okay. Well, that's, that's all good stuff, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill these guys up and we are going to see just what we get out of, out of them. It's going to take them a good length of time to uh, process all of this. So, yeah, I'm going to fill these up and be back in a bit. It's the next day. Not Minecraft day, real day. <laughs> I totally underestimated just how long it would take to process that much gravel. And how much resources. Now, I chucked down there in that crack an absolute metric crap ton of um, chipped gems. Because we don't need that many. And they're taking up space on our applied energistic system. While it's been doing that, I have also built a second ME drive casing. I have plumbed in, oh it snowed a bit as well. I have plumbed in an ME terminal there. And I have plumbed in an ME terminal here. So we have things, I can't do it there because that break, taking that one breaks the um, thing out. I could potentially put it there and there, but that would just trigger my sense of sense. Um, and bringing it up there would be whilst effective, kind of crazy. So yeah, it's one of them kind of things. Um, I've also had been looking at mod packs. Um, I haven't reached any solid decisions yet, although I have got one that I quite like the look of for a server pack, uh, which I'll have a chat about in a moment before before I need to do that. I need protein in my life. Protein, there we go, a bit of steak. Arr. Steak, apple, corn, hmm, gonna be nice. Bit of that in there. Oops, nope, and a bit of carrot. Be nice not to live right next door to the cows. Actually, that will be um, that will be a benefit as we move forward. And a bit of steaky, lovely, lovely. Right. Where was I? Oh yeah. Uh, resources that we've gleaned, stuff we've got, all the things we have now. I'm not too worried about many of the resources. Um. So in here is um, not all the redstone actually, because there's also some in there. So there's quite a bit of redstone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, and we can, you know, quickly turn some of this into blocks just to simplify the view, if you like. Um, to do, yep. And we've got. A lot of redstone, we've got a lot of lorium, we've got someone knocking at the door, so we'll be back in a second. Sorry about that, that was a miss of this. Um, so, yeah, anyway, um, so we did get an absolute metric crap ton of, of, uh, of redstone out of that. I don't think I'm going to be worrying about redstone this season. 
at all. Um, as you can tell, there's an awful lot of it. And uh, I'll go and bring over the other redstone from the other storage, and then we can uh, hopefully get a feel for just how much redstone we got. Because we did get a lot. Mm, come back here, don't you dare go in there. I don't know why it does that sometimes. So, they're all empty. So, everything is in here. So, we got gold. Um, 11 blocks, don't really need it, but still got it. We got silver. Um, 11 blocks and a bit of silver. And uh, what else did we get? Uh, da, 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 da. Some lead. Quite a bit of that. Tin. Fair bit of that. We got mithril. Um, you can't smelt mithril into blocks or ingots, so I've done it into large mithril plates because they can be smelted back again, and each one of those is nine ingots, so that is effectively a block. Uh, redstone, lots and lots of redstone. Quartz, certus quartz, charged certus quartz, big pile of eulorium. I mean, I really can't complain at that as a result. So I'm going to get all this put away and then I'll cut back and we'll we'll continue on and we'll probably be fairly short this episode. I say fairly short. This, in terms of recording time, fairly short in terms of play time, stupidly long. Back in a second. All right, that's, um, that's all ready to just put away. So this all, I think we just use this only really has used to make the eulorium so we do need to cook all of that lot up um, but we'll do that later on um, so yeah I've been looking at packs um, and one of the things I would like to do in the not too distant future is a new server pack um, for collaborative play um, I would like to try and get some more What's the word I'm looking for? Um, more collaboration on the server, more opportunities to play with, with you guys, and also record with you guys and other content producers. There are one or two of you out there. <laughs> now, the, the pack I found which is particularly interesting to me is actually called, and I can't find, see it, where is it? All of Fabric 3. And if you're thinking, you know, what is that? It is a 16.5 pack, which is purely fabric mods, but it has actually got an awful lot of content in it. Um, a lot of very interesting content, it has to be said. The, the terrain generation is custom. It is absolutely stunning. Um, there are some biomes which you will see why I was kind of turned on by this straight off the bat. And it has um, audibly mechanization quarries. There's bewitchment mod in there. There's um, it, it is very hard to say realize that it's a fabric based pack because it, it has so much of the forge elements to it. Oh God. What's he down there? Just as a question over here. So that that is something I would be very interested in doing, and, and do check it out. If even if you even if I don't do it as a as a pack, it's actually quite stunning. It is also quest based, so it has quests in it. Um, I think it's three hundred quests. Lots of exploration. There's battle towers. As I say, it's just um, I I started playing with it, um, just having a look around, just to see what it was like in creative. Went to the we went to through all the dimensions, went to the end dimension as well, just got blown away by it and actually completely lost track of time and ended up going to bed at one one in the morning, um, which is, you know, actually not particularly late, but when it is when you consider it's a uh, work night. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's, it's interesting. Uh, as for what we put replace FTB with going forward, I haven't really got any solid decisions yet. So do share your thoughts on that one um we're not done in this world we are not finished we still have a nuclear reactor to do um i do want to do that because i've never built a nuclear reactor in a nuclear reactor in ftb um 
So yeah, I want to do that. That's kind of a yes. Get in there. Let's build ourselves a, a, a reactor. I want to move my living quarters over into here. I uh, I do want to possibly try and push down into the lower levels of the dungeon. Just you know because and uh, yeah. I think that kind of about covers it. So, not a huge amount going on. Let me just get a sunset shot. There we go. Um, going on with with this episode, but I feel like we've achieved a lot, even though we haven't really advanced by much. And uh, let me know what you think suggestions on the post uh, suggestions in the comments and until next time thank you very much for watching guys i will see you soon bye for now